Okay, so let's launch our first, uh, a really first time at Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So today we're just going to launch a Oracle Cloud Infrastructure uh, compute instance. This we're probably going to do um, with one uh, Intel Core and 15 gigs of RAM. So this is just going to be a demo instance. You can see here you have loads of different options to about which um, operating system you want to use. Um, so Oracle provides lots of images themselves and our partner network is growing. So there's a lot of VPN images here. And also you can use custom images if you want. Uh, but this is more just an introduction to Oracle Cloud and to show you how you, you can get up and running. Um, so these are all our different instances here, uh, different shapes. So I'm just going to open up shapes to show you where you can get more information. Um, in Oracle, we use Oracle Central Processing Units, whereas AWS and Azure and Google use uh, virtual CPUs. So it all comes down to the hyper-threading. Uh, you have to see if hyper-threading is enabled uh, on your instance, uh, but typically one OCPU corresponds to two virtual CPUs. Uh, so Oracle always charge their software by the core. Um, so just looking at keys, so we're going to create a key pair here that we can use for Oracle Cloud uh, to launch a compute instance. Uh, so I have, I have nothing here at the moment. So I'm just going to create a key pair in this directory and to show you how you can get started with Oracle Cloud. Uh, so we're just going to use git bash here. Uh, you can use whatever you want really, but I am uh, tied to a Windows machine, so uh, I'm just going to use git bash for this. So I just hit ssh key gen, and you can enter a uh, password if you want, or uh, put it in any directory. I'm just going to stay in the same directory that I'm in at the moment, uh, just for ease of use for this demo, and I'll probably use these keys uh, for subsequent videos. Okay, so my SSHA 256-bit keys have been uh, published. So I just want to see my uh, public key and private key. So that's my private key. Um, so what I need to actually launch an instance is the public key. Um, so you can't derive uh, your, your private key from the public key. Um, so for security reasons, which is great. So that, this is why we use public and private key pairs. So just paste that into your SSH key file. And so typically you would always have a virtual cloud network pre-provisioned before you uh, provision an instance. So that's what I did previously to this. I just provisioned a uh, dash 16 Ciderblock subnet, a uh, virtual cloud network with one public subnet. And that's something that if you want to see, uh, we can go through later on. Just looking at some of the advanced options here. If you want to uh, reserve an IP address, uh, you can do that and just attach a VNIC to, to the instance. So I'm just going to hit create there. Uh, we can, this is just a very introduction uh, presentation here today. Uh, so it's just a demo instance. I'll probably uh, pause the video and let that uh, provision. And I'll probably just clear up the screen here now as well. So it should really take a couple of seconds, maybe 30 seconds to a minute to provision. Uh, so it's typically very, very quick. Yeah, so it's up there now. So you get something called an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Identifier. So this is how we tag everything on our Oracle Cloud. Uh, we go by identifiers. So I'm just going to SSH to my public IP address and just make sure that you have the correct permissions on your uh, on your private key just to make it, uh, make it uh, available for SSH. Uh, so just hit yes here for your instance. And uh, so that's going to be added to the SSH authorized key files on your instance. So first thing, just switch to your root user uh, and then hit yum update. Uh, so yum is just a package manager for Oracle Linux. Uh, this could take a couple of seconds to download, but just make sure that you've the, the correct, um, the correct and most up-to-date packages and something that you should really do every time you log into a, in, an instance. Okay, so that seems to be downloading pretty quickly there. Uh, I'm hotspotting my phone at the moment uh, due to uh, firewall issues. So just please bear with me while this provisions. Okay, so I just paused the video there. So everything is up, seems to be up. Uh, just going to hit uh, pause there. Yeah, so everything is up. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to double check. Uh, so first thing to do, just clear the screen. Uh, I'm just going to install uh, the Apache software at the moment, so just say HTTP uh, dash Y to force it. Uh, so that's just open source software uh, under the Apache license, so it's free to use. So that's what you have to download here, and 
and just make sure you have it to, to make your to make your web server visible on the web. So I just uh, paused the video there. My my internet connectivity is not great at the moment. So this will automatically be created your var www or www html folder. So what you have to do here is just create any sort of HTML file that you want. So it can be hello world, uh, welcome. I'm just going to say welcome to my first uh, Oracle Cloud infrastructure instance or first web server. Uh, just because this is the first uh, tutorial or demo that we're doing here. Um, so Oracle Cloud is not the most well-known cloud provider. Uh, so it's just more so to raise awareness of what's capable on Oracle Cloud. So service HTTP the start just to start your web server. And what we're also going to do here, anytime we stop the server, uh, this will automatically be started. So just make sure you hit that system CTL enable service HTTP uh, Just make sure that is checked. So our, our server should be visible on the internet now at the moment. So you can see my IP is timing out. So there's something obviously not right here at the moment. And uh, so this is where it leads into uh, infrastructure and web security. So when I provision my virtual cloud network, uh, I also provision a subnet. And in that subnet, uh, you can have your, your route tables, your security lists, uh, THCP options and DNS names. So just always make sure uh, so it's uh, obviously very, very bad practice what I've done here at the moment. I've opened up my server to everything, uh, but there's lots of different protocols that you can use uh, for this. So everything is open, so I don't know what's wrong. Uh, so this is where you actually have to go into the instance and open up ports. So I just want to check to make sure Apache is up and running. Yes, it is. Uh, so very... Uh, something that you have to to realize is Oracle. We don't. We just do. Uh, well, we don't just do what we. Our design choice is uh, not too similar to AWS, but you can control the security list of the network. Uh, but AWS use security groups where you can open up ports on the instance itself. Uh, so we chose just to let the administrators do that. So I'm just going to add service um, HTTP. D, uh, oh, sorry, HTTP here, and just make that perm permanent. So to, to open up port 80, I'm just going to reload that firewall uh, to make sure the changes have been saved. And then after that, our web server should be up and running. Uh, but it's a nice tutorial just to get started with cloud, uh, just to make sure. Yeah, so you can see HTTP has been added to SSH. So now we can actually check, uh, so that, that this should open up, should. Okay, so great on OCI or Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Uh, this is a really good story to follow just as a starting point. And what you should do is just mess around with the security list and maybe lock it down to your IP address just for practice. Um, it's This obviously is really kind of the starting point of all services. Uh, just to add to this, I'm just going to also show you how you could kind of automate this. Uh, I'm just going to launch the exact same web server, but instead of, uh, of having to uh, have all do SSH into the instance and install HTTP and uh, enable it on startup, I just want to show you how you can have a script to do so. Uh, so this is just, um, just kind of a config script that you can add to any instance. So I'm just going to go bin bash into my into, interpreter and all the commands that I ran on the instance, basically just installing HTTP and added, updating the operating system and starting the HTTP server. I didn't add a uh, an index.html file uh, just to show you a different kind of layout is when you don't have any HTML file, uh, it'll just default to the Apache uh, homepage. So the exact same thing again, let's just SSH. Uh, to the server. I didn't choose to open up the ports uh, uh, on the, the initialization script. Uh, so I'm just going to do that now. So it's the exact same commands as we did earlier on. Uh, so I'm just going to go firewall cmd add port tcp 80 uh, just to make sure that opens up. Uh, so let's just see it there now. Uh, yeah, so just make sure you hit sudo to, to give yourself elevated privileges. So sudo firewall cmd uh, reload. So it should give us a success message. So I'm just going to open that up there. So it wasn't working until, yeah, 
I added that rule. So there you go. So this is a great tutorial just to get started.